in this problem we have all the constants the only unknown is the current as usual so we have two loops and we have three currents to find to solve this problem they are saying that initially the capacitor was uncharged when we say that please remember to replace the capacitor by a wire and the of the capacitor is zero but the current is flowing normally now when uh, the capacitor is fully charged as in this problem at time infinity the capacitor is fully charged then you replace the capacitor by an open switch yani uh, current is not passing through this uh, this uh, branch of where the capacitor is so the current would be zero Now, at time zero, we said that we have to replace the capacitor with a wire. Yani lu dn is zero. Now, you apply left loop or right loop. Bitlana to equations. The right loop gives you that I3 is equal to I2. Put a pause. Try to calculate it on your own. Same thing on the left loop. And then simple calculations, you will get V1 equals to 800 volts and V2 is 400 volts. To solve the second uh, uh, question, which is you, you have to find in part DEF all the currents at time infinity when the capacitor is fully charged. So we agreed that when the uh, capacitor is fully charged, the, ca the current in this branch where the capacitor is, this current would be zero. In this problem, it is I3. So if you replace I3 by zero and you repeat the two loops, you will find that the V of the capacitor is equal to V2, yani VDN is equal to VBN, and it is around 600 volts. What's interesting in this problem is that they, we have two loops as usual, but uh, the assumed current will be wrong. So, what happens if I do the calculation and I find the current negative? So as usual, we use left loop, right loop. I will not uh, comment and I, I will comment only on the final answer. After you apply your left loop or right loop, try to do it on your own. And then you say you know, at a certain joint, I1 and I3 will out with I2, middle joint D. I1 plus I3 equals I2, three equations, three unknowns. But in fact, I3 is minus 0.25 ampere, which is negative. This means that the assumed current of I3 is wrong, so I have to invert it. But before inverting it, if you replace I3, minus 0.25, the equations are still correct. If I go back to the uh, red equation, and I replace I3 by minus 0.25, I can find I1. Okay, if I do that in equation al khadra, same thing. Hala, if you go back, you can find I2 uh, using I1 plus I3, but asharat mahal I3, I put minus 0.25. Okay, so in any equation, but you can replace I3 by minus 0.25. If you are not comfortable with that, you can uh, acquit, uh, invert the direction on uh, R3. You can repeat all your calculations again. Okay, but this time, you have to repeat all your calculations again. Okay, but this time, you have to repeat the equations of the loops and do the calculation again. But this time, you replace I3 by 0.25, positive, not negative. But Anna, I do recommend and you stay like the previous slide. Uh, you just invert this, uh, high that direction at the end after you finish all the calculations. Or you keep the same equations. Hatta is a negative. Well, mishkle. Okay, in this problem, they need you to find all the currents. So easy, the upper loop will loop in the bottom. So uh, in the upper loop, if you take the clockwise direction, E3 plus E2, I will start from point B. So E3 plus E2, and then minus E1 
minus R2 I2 لأنه الأسيوم كيرن تبعته هي going with the loop so minus R2 I2 you replace and you will find I2 positive uh, so it means no assumed current I2 has the correct uh, direction. Now let's repeat the work with the lower loop. Uh, we take it counterclockwise and we are trying to take it with the EMF. So with only plus E2 minus R1 I1 equals 0. Come in, I want to add positive, so we'll assume direction is correct. And finally, if you want to find the I total, it would be I1 plus I2, which is 0 0.11 ampere. When they ask about the voltage between uh, uh, our potential difference between two points, don't think about the rules of the loop. خلاص, forget about the loops and apply the formulas that you know. If, uh, for example, I'm going from A to B, I can go AC then CB. Now, AC uh, is it positive or negative? Since from A to C, I can go either in the uh, battery, which is E2, Either in R1, I1. For uh, R1, I1, أوضح, لأنه, you can see the flow of the current. Daiman the current is from the potential of the to the potential of the And VAC, by definition, is VA minus DC. So it is positive. And then again, from C to B, just uh, going to test the minus of the battery, VCB, يعني VC minus VB, يعني V positive minus V negative, يعني أكيد the answer is positive. Okay, uh, so it would be 9 volts.